there's a way to make an entrance. This is my destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. Whether it's for better or for worse. I definitely didn't imagine getting married in prison. I wanted a beautiful church, nice dress, but this way, it's kind of more intimate. For richer or poorer. What is happening to me? I am not falling in love with this man. To love and to cherish. I think that I found my soulmate. <laughs> Blossom was conceived on one of the family visits when we were allowed some privacy. Every year, thousands of women around the world choose to become a bride to a prisoner. We've butted heads so much when it comes to Brandon because she thinks that I deserve better. Nothing about us is ever going to be normal or <laughs> ordinary. This is a story of four prison brides determined to marry men doing hard time. Is it perfect love or perfect madness? Thirty-year-old Sabrina from Florida is a devout Christian. What better match for a good church-going girl than former big-time cocaine dealer Damon Thrash? Damon is at the Bay Correctional Facility in Panama City, Florida, and we are going to get married in about three days-ish. Looking for my beautiful dress for my king. I want to be beautiful for him. Yeah, it was cocaine, cocaine and weed. Around that time, crack cocaine had started to really take shape and really become a, the predominant product. And it was the biggest money maker. So a lot of me and my partners, we got involved with selling crack cocaine. I like this. I was arrested for conspiracy to traffic over 150 kilos of cocaine. Nothing about us would ever be normal. <laughs> he says that all the time. My sentence was 240 months, 20 years. Um, you know, 20 years state prison. Sabrina was introduced to Damon through her brother, who was sharing a cell with the drug dealer. They began to write letters to one another, then phone each other, and finally met in a prison visitation suite. They may have stayed pen pals for the remainder of Damon's 20-year sentence had it not been for divine intervention. God told me not to wait, and I know that it's a reason why he wanted me to marry him while he's in there. I know that it's a reason, because he revealed to me not to wait. Another convict about to tie the knot is Emilio Flores, who moved to the USA from Puerto Rico with Marinez and her family in search of a better life. Two years later, the family were torn apart. Emilio couldn't find work, and turned to crime to make ends meet. When I get home, my home was destroyed. They destroyed my house. They, everything was in the floor. Everything was in, like, they destroyed my, everything, like, my toilet was in the, um, in my shower. They have to see that. Also, my kids went with me to my house, and I don't have it. My front door was, was broke. Emilia was sent to prison for six years for manufacturing drugs. Now, if all goes to plan, He'll be getting married to Marinez in two days' time. I always tell my kids that if a simple mistake, you can lose everything. He got six years. <laughs> six years of his life. With no opportunity for whining or dining, romances over prison walls take place on the telephone or by letter. Cocaine dealer Damon wooed Sabrina with his words, writing of his conversion to Christianity. His approach was unconventional, composing a lengthy questionnaire, asking Sabrina a series of searching questions. Do you believe in marriage? Do you believe God brings people into your life for a reason, even if for a season? Do you believe in soulmates or kindred spirits? Do you believe that God is the head of man and man is the head of the woman? What's your favorite Bible scripture and why? And it says, what are your measurements? <laughs> I became very interested. I really wanted to know who this man was. I didn't think that he was going to be my husband or anything. I got a letter in the mail 
and he explained to me everything that God has called him to do. I mean, like, <laughs> I was shaken because it was verbatim of everything God has called me to do. As the couple exchanged letters, the relationship blossomed and Sabrina decided to visit Damon. The first time I went to go see him, like, I kept looking into his eyes. I kept, I'm like, your eyes, it looks similar to my eyes. And I was like, what is happening to me? I am not falling in love with this man. At that point, now I knew that I had fallen in love with him. You know, I've been hurt so many times in the past, and this wasn't looking good, you know, because I knew that if I was to fall in love with him, you know, I would be committed to him. And, and I didn't want to, you know, especially for my daughter, like, I want the best for her. Did you know that angels are real even though you don't see them? God creates the angels to watch over you and protect you. Sabrina is also getting married in a matter of days. Her daughter, Tanaya, shares her religious views. Remember to thank God every day for the angels that he sends to protect you from harm. Wow, so you believe in angels? Of course. Really? Yeah. Why do you believe in angels? Because in, I see, because uh, when you read about the Bible and stuff, when you read it to me sometimes, you tell me, it says something about like angels, and it said that they're God's helpers. Okay. Did, did God helpers ever help you in any, in any situation? Um, when I'm scared of something, you want they want you to trust God. Uh huh. Do you trust God? Okay, I like this book. I like this one the best. Which one? I know that you love me and you want to always take care of me. I believe that you died and rose again for me. And I want to live for you. Forgive me for all the bad things I have done. Someone who does know her groom very well is Marinez from New Hampshire. She was engaged to Emilio years before he went to prison. This one was like a really long time ago. I was skinny and he was when skinny. When first met? No, I, I, we have been together for like maybe two or three years, yes. Marinez moved from Puerto Rico to the USA with Emilio in search of work and a better life. So that's the first time that we went to um, New York City with a, was a sighting. I'd never been there before and it was like other world for us. <laughs> We have a lot of fun that day. I was scared. I don't know if my kids would like it. I don't know if they're gonna be okay in the schools because they didn't know they didn't know any English when I came. Back then, when he was out, we used to go riding four wheelers all the time with our family when they came up. It was a lot of fun. Emilio was a perfect stepfather until he got himself locked up for six years for making drugs. What you miss most about him? His jokes and the way he treated us and like, you know, how he took care of us and stuff like that. Almost every day we used to go out and do stuff, like fun stuff. I can go out and do stuff, but it's not the same because, you know, he's not here. And We're really a like, close family, yeah. like we always been together for every, everywhere. Marinez never considered doing anything but standing by her man, and she will finally marry Emilio in two days' time. There is a potential pitfall for Sabrina. Baby, I miss you. Yeah, what you mean? A phone call from the groom in prison gives her a chance to share the last-minute hitch. Her father has asked her to call the ceremony off. You know my dad, oh my God, he almost made me cry. Uh, you know why? Your dad, your dad is basically doing the same thing my mom is doing. Huh? No, <laughs> no. Listen, he. I've never seen him this passionate in my life. <clears throat> he told me yesterday. He was like, "I'm gonna." He said, "I want to see you before." I was like, "Well, I'm going to a restaurant. You know, we're gonna celebrate. You want to come?" No, I do not want to come. I want to meet you before. I was like, "Why?" And he said, "I just want to talk to." You. He just wanted to talk me out of it. Like, I know my dad loved me, but <laughs> he just, you know, before it's like he can care less what I do. You know, he never really paid attention, but I've never seen him like this before. Last night, he just went up and got to me. 
I think he's trying to get me in a spot to where he can make me change my mind. Yeah. Right. Can't change the heart, you know? Right. Well, your daddy loves you, baby. <laughs> Sabrina is about to start the five hour drive to the Bay Correctional Facility in Panama City, Florida. <laughs> If all goes to plan, she will marry cocaine dealer Damon Thrash in the morning. Her sister has volunteered to act as chauffeur for the big day. This time she was like, oh, I'm certain. I'm certain there's no doubts. God sent me so many confirmation. And because of that, it's like, OK, I agree. Everything that we worked up for is finally here. And it's like, ah. And to see my sister get married. Yeah, it's a big event in anybody's family. Yeah, right? yeah, and especially because of the occasion and the situation. And I never really met him before, so this is the first time. So now it's like everything all in one. It's like I had a kid, you know? <laughs> so it's like I want to see who's going to, who's taking my sister away from me. I probably feel like I should be saying something different, but it's just like, I don't know. I guess I feel good about it, so that's always a good thing. You know, even if it doesn't work, I mean, she's happy now. That's all that matters. I mean, this is her life, and I think that's what everybody's forgetting about. This is her life. You can't fight love. You can't get mad at that. The fact that she's happy, that's all the thing I care about. I think it feels good. I think afterwards it'll be like, ah, oh, it's all over. It's already done. Nobody can try to stop me. No one can say you shouldn't do this. I think it's going to be a breath of fresh air. I can't wait to become one, one with him. I can't wait. So, so I'm definitely excited and a little bit, a little bit of anxiousness too. So, <laughs> kind of anxious. And I thought I would get really nervous when it got closer, but I, that's why I said I don't think it really hit me yet. <laughs> Even though it was just like we have such a beautiful connection, just that part, you know, I'm just. I haven't really given it my all. I think tomorrow, being that he's gonna become my husband, I feel more comfortable, so. So it will be your first kiss? <laughs> It'll be our first, like, real intimate kiss, yeah. <laughs> but it will only be their first kiss if Sabrina's father doesn't get in the way. Someone else is about to tie the knot. Marinez is getting married to Emilio, who still has half of his six-year sentence left to serve. The family are once again hoping for a new beginning. Every experience you have ever had, everything you have ever done and learned has brought you to this incredible moment. Face each other and join your hands and feel what a gift you are to each other. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. He raised my kids. He's a good dad with my kids. And because, um, I don't know, it's like I love him and I like him so much. That's, I think, that I found my soulmate. And forsaking all others, be to her a kind and faithful husband and love her and honor her so long as you both shall live. Yes. Be to him a kind and faithful wife and love and honor him so long as you both shall live. Yes. From this day forward, from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. I pronounce that you are husband and wife. We have many, many years together and um, for being good with God and we have this relationship already like more stronger. This <laughs> be a privilege to be with my family, you know, and people you love. Emilio brought the family over to the States after meeting Marinez. Her previous husband was murdered outside the family home in Puerto Rico. They love him like a dad, even though they're not a real dad. He been there for them a lot. I think they miss him a lot. Far from being a burden, Emilio is a family man who lost his way. It's finally going to open. A wedding present has arrived from behind prison walls. Emilio has made his new wife a little something. This is my gift for my wedding. 
Yeah. This is handmade. Somebody, some of the other inmates did it for him. He painted and he put this in this frame. So I don't know how, but it's, I think it's amazing. Finally, with our date of our marriage. I'm gonna put it, I don't know where I'm gonna put it. <laughs> Maybe over there. I'm gonna can find something else. Um, salmon is there like perfect? <laughs> oh, stay there. Devout Christian Zabrina is about to marry former cocaine dealer Damon, who still has seven years left on his sentence. After a whirlwind five year courtship carried out almost entirely over the phone, the big day is finally here. See, like, I'm trying to. I know when I got here, I was crying. I was like, <laughs> I think I'm gonna focus on being cute. I can't wait to see him. Like, oh my goodness, I haven't seen him in so long. This is weird. <laughs> you better get out and cater to me, I'll tell you. I think when I see that building, I guess I wasn't thinking about that. Sweetie, I'm almost there. There's just time for a final inspection of the venue. Oh my God. Look at the bars. <laughs> oh my God. This is weird. I feel like I'm not worthy to have a normal wedding. <laughs> but nothing will spoil the big day for the blushing bride. I know that I'm, my mind is somewhere else because I'm not cold. Because I'm trying to look cute for him. placed him in the Garden of Eden. Then God in his wisdom saw that it was not good for man to dwell alone, so he created for him a helpmate to share with him the joys and the struggles of life. The original love God gave that husband and wife was that they became one. The home is built upon love and virtue. If you honor Christ in the marriage, if you invite him to the good times, and the marriage is an unbroken institution. Absolutely. And Sabrina with his ring, how do you In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. And if God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. And what you've been waiting for, you can kiss your bride. Sabrina and Damon's chaplain has some last words of advice for the newlyweds. I don't tie no slip knots. Mm -mm. <laughs> I tie double, triple granny. You know what that means? Yeah. You have to cut that down now. <laughs> All, right. All right. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. <sighs> I'm, at, I'm at peace now. Well, completion. Completion. I feel complete, you know what I mean? It's my soulmate. Unpredictability. Never a dull moment. Um, Nothing about us is ever going to be normal or <laughs> ordinary. <laughs> you know? Marinez has just married Emilio in the New Hampshire State Prison for Men. With good behavior, he will be eligible for parole in two and a half years' time. While Emilio slipped into a life of crime to make ends meet, left on her own, Marinez managed to find that better life for her family. I don't want that to happen to my kids. 
I know that if I stay there, something can happen or not, maybe not, maybe I just me thinking like this can happen, but I just, I prefer having, have them here, safe. Marinez hopes that by marrying Emilio, she will help him stay on the right path in the future. If anybody makes a mistake, I think, so everybody have to serve a second chance. I think we all make mistakes in one moment of our lives.